All right, so I think this is episode 20 of the Sob Powers podcast. With me today, my new YouTube friend, awesome guy, does awesome one-minute food reviews you should check out, does music too, Devil Rick. How's it going, bro? I'm not too bad, bro. How are you doing? You good? Good. Thanks, man. So, uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. Uh, so, like, what made you start getting back into YouTube? Just the whole coronavirus thing? or? Well, to begin... Um... Originally, uh, I'm a musician. Mm -hmm. um, it's been very stop-start, to be honest. Um, I'm from a small town in North Wales, in the UK, and um, it's not very uh, ripe for musician uh, musician choice. So, you know, it was just a case of entering the studio with just me and a drummer. Uh, so we did a lot of recording. Um, unfortunately, I've not got to play most of my songs live, mm -hmm. uh, which is a great shame, really, because you know, some of them I can safely say are pretty good. Mm -hmm. But um, that's been on the back burner for a long time now, to be honest, man. Um, but it, to answer your question with the YouTube thing, it all started when the quarantine started. Because um, I thought, you know, I've got to keep my mind occupied and stuff. I'm not going to be working. You know, so I just, I, I've literally just started literally man and you know people are complimenting my editing and stuff and you know then really just started man so it, it can only get better like you know yeah so, i do like your editing it's like your face gets all crazy and stuff in the videos it's awesome <laughs> yeah man well because originally i i started off um on tiktok um because mm. i've got a little daughter uh she's eight and a half and uh, she's just absolutely obsessed with tiktok and that's all i hear so uh when we get together and stuff she's always like oh dad look at this video look at this video and i'm just sort of like oh okay sound so i only downloaded tiktok because of my daughter okay just mm -hmm. to keep her happy so she's begging me to make videos and stuff and okay sound so i gave it a go and i realized there was face filters on there and that you can do a lot of stop start recording and get your different angles and stuff like that so i just sort of played around with it and um, it all started off, um, we didn't have much in the house and I was pretty, you know, I had the munchies and stuff and I was like, fuck me, man, what can I have to eat? Um, and I don't really like fish, bro, because it stinks, you know? I like the taste, yeah. you know, the pasta <laughs> smell, it's all right. Like, so we started off with sardines on toast. So I had the face filter on, it makes my face all fucking big and my nose all massive and stuff. And I just eat the toast, pull some weird faces, you know, look all content. And the secret to my food reviews, I don't take myself too seriously, man. So I've, yeah. not had a bad, I've not had a bad comment yet, dude. You know, nobody said, oh, this is stupid. Because at the end of the day, man, it's just for fun. Mm -hmm. and, and the secret is, man, to my reviews, it's not a case of really 6 out of 10, 10 out of 10. For me, it's all in my face. If my eyes are shut. If my eyes shut, one eye's open, that is a sign of content satisfaction to me, bro, you know? Yeah. I heard the one you squished a bunch of candies together and then you ate the whole ball of candy and you're like, ah, it was bad like that, but one at a time, it's good. So you actually give like a solid real review while you're being funny. It's good shit. Oh, uh, man, it was bad news, man, because, you know, safe to say, like, over the years, uh, hands up, uh, neglect, drug abuse, smoking, you know, my teeth have taken a hammering, bro. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So to do that, it wasn't really a good idea. So I was in a bit of pain after that, but it was entertainment in my own little way. You know, it was a bit different to just eating it going, hmm, these are juicy, these are nice, you know. So yeah, that. yeah. So you got those so, one minute uh, food reviews on TikTok too, you were saying, right? Um, well, I've got a couple, man, because yeah. to be honest, I'm learning now with my videos. I'm swearing a lot less. Mm -hmm. okay and if i'm gonna put anything on tiktok man i'm not gonna be saying cant or bastard or fuck okay? right right yeah my little kid sees that you know what i mean and i Good point you know i don't want to hear it come from my mouth so mm -hmm. i'm so, trying to be like quite child friendly when it comes to the the tiktok stuff because i know that kids see it so right right yeah there is a lot of kids on there um so what is your tiktok for people that want to find you on there is it just devil rick like this or no my uh it's just my name basically um when people say rick they automatically assume it's r-i-c-k mm -hmm. um but it's r-i-k because my name's ricky and it's r-i-double-k-i -K -K -I, rather than the regular way that people would usually spell it 
Right. So it's uh, Rick Chapman, 23, basically. That's okay, all it is. Cool. Yeah, but there's no Adam on TikTok. <laughs> I'll add you later when I go for a smoke. It's the only time I get Wi-Fi. It's the only time I use TikTok. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Well, to be fair, um, if I'm going to plug anything, it's mainly my YouTube, bro. Um, I've, mm-hmm. I've come off Facebook for a bit because uh, I get disillusioned with shit. You know, I, I read through fucking everything and I'm just sort of like, especially with this corona stuff, you know, I've completely mm-hmm. avoided it, man. Do you know what I mean? I've just sort of gone, nah, you know, anything that comes up notifications wise, I just don't want to know, man. You know what I mean? It's just, I don't want to fill my head with that shit, bro, you know? Yeah, there's more, like so much of it and it's all that anyone's talking about, it seems like... I, yeah, I don't really want to hear about it anymore either. It's like, can we talk about something else now? You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely, man. <laughs> absolutely. Hey, come yeah. a question for you. Um, yeah. How long have you been looking for? Pardon? Uh, you cut out when you at, when the key word was asked. Um, how long have you been playing your... Oh, ukulele? Uh, so I started like playing guitar probably when I was like 13 or 14. Um, but I was never really good at guitar. I was always like pretty shitty. I have like these weird pinkies. So like if I go too far back, they just pop out of the socket, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My hands are weird. I can like do things like bend the tops. Um, yeah. So then it's just like, I, I think like maybe like five years ago or something, I got the ukulele and it's just so much easier than guitar, right? So it's like, I just loved it. Cause you don't really need the pinky. You can just kind of use like just these three fingers and still make some yeah. dope ass songs, you know? Yeah, that's so. it, man. Mm-hmm. yeah that's cool man I like i like um I, I didn't start music until i was like 16. um to be fair growing up music was never an interest of mine believe it or not until mm-hmm. um when was it growing up right we were big on jackass you know johnny knoxville and the guys fucking we used to love me it. too man me too yeah so we started our own one and it was called scab uh which stood for um scars cuts and bruises that's awesome. Yeah. I yeah, feel like everyone something. started their own one. We did too, called it Dumbass, like most people probably did, yeah. but yours is more original. Okay, so go on. <laughs> um, so we started doing jackass and stuff. And, um, you know, people used to know me as this fucking crazy guy. I was basically, effectively, I was like the Knoxville of the gang or a Steve O, you know what I mean? Prepared mm-hmm. to do the stupid, like the crazy stuff, like, you know. So, um, in school, there were more a group of guys because in school we were like considered like you know goths or slipknots. You know, believe it or not, we used to get called slipknots. You know, we'd walk past in our black hoodies and people, hey, look at those fucking slipknots over there, man. You know what I mean? I've never heard someone like I know the band Slipknot, but I've never heard of anyone being called us like slipknots before. That's actually yeah. kind of funny. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's, it's funny, man. It's quite sick, man. Uh, looking back, it's quite hilarious. But you know, at the time, you know, being a youngster and Fucking hell, people are abusing me for being myself, but that's life. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, but going back to what I was saying, um, because I was doing jackass and I was quite crazy and I was prepared to do anything, uh, a group of guys asked me, said, oh, you're quite crazy. Do you want to fucking sing for our band? And I'm like, I'll give it a go. And, um, you know, to say, safe to say at the beginning, I was fucking shit. One tone, you know, didn't really know what I was doing. It was just, just one of them. Mm-hmm. And it just sort of grew on me, like, I started picking up a guitar, played bass guitar and stuff like that. And um, I've had a lot of people over the years putting me down, you know, saying, oh, you'll never write your own songs and stuff, and you'll never do this, you'll never do that. You go on my fucking YouTube now, and, and uh, right at the very bottom of my YouTube now, underneath these fucking tens of fucking food reviews that I've made, you know, that I've got songs there that... I can't believe, like people said to me, like when I've worked in warehouses and cake factories and stuff like that, they've often said to me like, wow, this music's amazing. Like what the fuck are you doing here? Putting stickers on boxes for 12 hours a night. Yeah. yeah. You know? Man, your music is dope. I like it. And everybody listening should go check it out. It's dope shit actually. Yeah. It's, it's cool, man. Thanks, thanks for this man. You know, like appreciate it. This is something different for me. Like, you know, YouTube's bringing me new people, new opportunities, and I hope mm-hmm. like we can do something like a video sometime in the future. Yeah, you know? that'd be awesome, man. It, it's new for me too, right? Like, I literally just started this shit, and then I just started podcasting, and I've done like now it's like twenty guests, and like I started like four or five days ago, right? It's been crazy. Oh, that's awesome, man. I've watched every single one, man. I actually, I actually love it because um, I listen to a lot of Joe Rogan, and I like mm-hmm. to put that stuff on uh, in bed. 
uh, playlist or whatever. The Mike Tyson one was a good one. And I just like to, you know, fall asleep with it on and just listen, you know, close my eyes yeah. and stuff. That's great, man. So the more you're releasing now, I can do that with your stuff then. And it helps you out as well because you're getting the, the time that you're setting out to get, isn't it? You know, yeah. the water and everything. So. Yeah, I really appreciate that, man. I always see you commenting, which is awesome. And that's the only way I know if people actually are listening is if they leave a comment, right? Because like, you get like so many views, but most of the people don't even comment. So I don't know like who's actually watching, who they like what they like, you know what I mean? If yeah, I it's should... interaction, man. That's what it's all about, man. Like, if people are going to support each other, then, you know, they need to say these things, you know what I mean? Even if it's, even if it's just a heart icon, it's just to say, like, you know, yeah, I love it, you know. You don't even need to say much. You can just leave a little emoji or whatever. And yeah. It's just like, yeah, it's an understanding, bro, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, like, hopefully, like, it gets you some fans. Like, some people subscribe to you. Maybe, like, some of your fans will subscribe to me. It's, like, good for both of us. Plus, like, we can just, like, make contact, content, right? Well, yeah, that's the cool thing, man. You know, mm-hmm. you let me know where this goes up. And I already know, man. I'm sure that a few people will turn up to the chat and stuff, so. Yeah, for sure, man. Some people think it's live, right? Because, like, it, it's the premiere or whatever. I set it to premiere now. And and they well, asked me to shout them out in the chat. And then it's like, I can't. It was recorded before. <laughs> I won't lie, man. I won't lie. When you did premiere the other stuff, I was commenting thinking it was live. Because you were responding, weren't you? Yeah, I was, I, I was in the chat with you responding. Because I like to watch it live with whoever else is watching. And I'll respond in the yeah. chat. But I can't yeah, actually I respond in the video, right? <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I didn't get that at the start, man, because I had a few smokes, like, and I wasn't quite with it, man. So, uh, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like it, I understand because it has like the red light. It says premiere, and it, sometimes it even does say live. I think it's weird. I don't know how it works, but I think it helps, and it's cool because I get to see like the other, the one I did with Zach, uh, Zychopath. I had like four or five people watching the whole time, which isn't like a lot, but it's a lot to me. It's more than I've like most. I could get is like two or three people to watch and it was like the whole video they watched it was pretty sick well that's the thing man the more you do the more people will catch on to it and it'll just snowball bro you mm-hmm. know and then in the end your chat you won't be able to keep up with it man you know what i mean you won't be able to keep up with <laughs> yeah. it. you'll have to read through the next day man you know what i mean yeah like i wonder if like when i get to that point i might lose a bunch of fans because i feel like a lot of people are only fans with me because i watch their videos and i comment on their videos right (laughs) so it's like once i get too big to actually keep doing that then it's like they're gonna stop fucking with me (laughs) well that's the thing man you know people come and go in life Mm -hmm. as well um the thing is uh it's not just the fact that you give me the time and you comment my videos, you know, you put the time in to watch, um, you know, your, your personality as well, man. You know what I mean? You're, you're someone I enjoy watching, even if we hadn't have connected and started talking and done this today. Um, I still would have watched the videos and stuff. You know what I mean? Cause I enjoy yeah, bro, I, I appreciate that. And your, your content's good too. It's awesome. And it's like the one minute food reviews are so sick. They're just like one minute, you know what I mean? It's like, I get just like, it, and they're hilarious and they're, it's like quick humor. It's not like, um, yeah. some like people just do like vlog stuff and there's like a lot of dead air, especially if it's just them talking to the camera yeah. and it's like 20 minutes. And then it's like to watch all of those videos. I do that too. But like with yours, I'll watch like five or six, you know, in a row yeah. just cause they're so That's the thing. You actually can, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because I've done about 40, 42 food reviews now Mm -hmm. so you think you can watch a 40 minute podcast all the way through you know you you, let's say you start the podcast Mm -hmm. and then there's a knock at the door or somebody calls you up you know you you pause that and you say i'll watch that later which you do you come back to it don't you you know what i mean sometimes or sometimes something else you get distracted and you end up closing and then forgetting about that there's lots of podcasts i've only listened to like halfway through and then you know, exactly. I forget about it. <laughs> but in one minute, you know, you could potentially go undisturbed now f- for a long time because of this virus. Mm-hmm. So, you know, if you enjoy one video, then you enjoy the next. You're going to potentially sit there and watch the fucking whole playlist, aren't you? Do you know what I mean? Right, for sure. So, and like, man, I, like we were saying before, I like my personality. Yours is uh, good too, bro. It'd be sick to have a beer one day. If I if we ever get to travel one day, I'll come to uh, Wales. That'd be sick, man. 
Well, I, I actually live in England, mate. I live in. Oh Berlin. right, yeah. You said you moved to England, right? You're talk. We were talking yesterday when we tried, and then it uh it cut out a couple times. Um, yeah. yeah. yeah Sorry, my memory is pretty bad. I smoke too much weed. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah man like I, I i do i do enjoy it man i don't really i don't really drink much man because uh, i've done some crazy shit when i've got pissed off man all oh, right um, word i'll give you one i'll give you a story um well not that long ago actually um because i got pissed up on spirits okay i don't drink mm. i really don't drink it's not in me anymore and um I drank some, uh, was it brandy and vodka and stuff with the neighbors. And I, uh, I crashed out in the spare bedroom. Didn't even know how the fuck I got there. I just woke up in the bed and I fucking pissed the bed, man. Oh, I completely, completely lost control, man. Do you know what I mean? I was like, damn. <laughs> this is why you don't drink, man. You know what I mean? This is why you don't drink. Stick to your smoke, stick to what you know, man, basically. Yeah, true. I've never smoked too much weed and, and peed the bed. But yeah, I've, <laughs> I've gotten really fucking drunk before. And what I hate about drinking is the hangovers, man. Yeah, uh, man. They're yeah, so hangovers bad. Are bad. I've, I, I don't really enjoy hangover, man. Um, <laughs> Nobody I, I, does. Nobody does. <laughs> I have um, my hangover um, cure, say, for myself personally, is uh, beans on toast, baked beans on toast. Mm-hmm. You know, nothing fancy, just baked beans on toast. Get it down, yeah. And, always and some water, that. maybe, too. <laughs> yeah, some water yeah, always helps me, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Glass I of water. Actually did, I actually put a video up, one of my food reviews. Um, I put a video up. I don't know if you've seen it, actually. Um, it's one where I drink Blossom Hill wine. No, I haven't and, seen that one. No, man, I, you might like that, actually. I'll watch um, it after this, for sure. Cool, man. Um, it's basically <laughs> this drunk posh english dude um you know i didn't have any smoke left so i decided oh fucking what am i gonna do so i went to the shop got some wine Mm -hmm. came home and then just burst into this different personality and i was drinking wine and in the video it's just me basically making beans on toast off my trolley on wine because i don't drink man like i said so i was (laughs) <laughs> That's the, place, hilarious. Man. The, to- the toast wasn't even toasted it was a mess man but it was a good laugh you know it was a good laugh yeah yeah that's awesome man that's it's hilarious very, it's very rare you'll get drunk content basically mm-hmm. it's, it's very rare and so they're special ones when they come along <laughs> so, when you um, oh go ahead you go ahead you, you said you were from uh, Niagara Falls yeah Niagara Falls Canada that's awesome, man. Because um, mm-hmm. I, you know, I just because I didn't really ask you where you were from and stuff. I just thought you were from America, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, I most people assume that, right? <laughs> yeah, I, didn't, I didn't think, I didn't know. And then when you said where you were from, I was like, oh, that's different. Because um, I'm sure weed's legal over there in Canada, isn't it? Or- yeah, it is. It just became legal like a uh, two years ago, I think. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's. It's crazy. It's it's awesome that it's legal now. It's like you can even grow like up to four plants if you want. It's pretty sick. Yeah, that's cool, man. So if it's legal, you know, you can go over there and you can buy it. Because I've been to Amsterdam, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I, oh, fucking hell, I'm th- I'm I'm 33 next month, okay? Mm-hmm. And I've I've wasted so many years of my life in just this bubble. I've only ever visited three countries in my whole life, okay? Wales, where I'm from. England next door, where I am now, mm-hmm. and the Netherlands. They're the only countries I've ever been to, man. So when I went to Amsterdam, it wasn't just the fact that there was many coffee shops and there were many mass varieties of choices available. Mm-hmm. Um, what it was for me more than anything, man, the biggest buzz for me out of the whole trip was just being able to sit peacefully in a social place and enjoy what I enjoy and just be left to it, man. Yeah, for <sighs> sure. It's nice. Like, you can just okay. walk down the street smoking a joint. I used to do that before it was legal, too, but I never got in too much I'm trouble. Chills, man. I'm getting chills thinking about that because it was, like, just a, a sense of freedom for once in my life, you know? Mm-hmm. Here it's like... We don't have coffee shops or really anything like that. There used to be, like, vape lounges and shit. Even like before it was legal, 
And then, like, now the cops, like, shut down all those vape shops for some reason. They don't like it. So, it's, like, you can smoke, like, outside where you'd have a cigarette. But... Oh, fair play. So, mm-hmm. what, what are your parents like with you smoking weed? Are they okay with it? Yeah, they're they're fine with it now. Like, I'm 29, and I, like, I was smoking when I was, like, 15, right? I started smoking, like, every day, too, probably when I was, like, 16, 17, maybe. So, it's been, like, over 10 years. and uh yeah, so I guess they're probably just happy that I'm not, like, doing anything, like, harder than that. <laughs> exactly, yeah. it's, at least you're not a crackhead or something, you know? Yeah, exactly. But I mean, so like, I've... The... Go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, man, you you next. You you, you know, you know. <laughs> so, like, um, fuck, I've done, like, shrooms and shit. My, like, one time I did mushrooms here at my parents' house just by myself, and then I got, like, so scared that I had, like, an allergic reaction that I called 911 on myself. The paramedics came and they just like laughed in my face, essentially. I was like, oh my God. And I was like, okay, I'm never doing mushrooms again. <laughs> Can't fucking handle like, it just like, it fucks me up. It makes me feel like I'm a different person and shit. It's weird. Does it really open your mind? Like it's said, like people say. Well, like, yeah, it's fucked. It's like, I see, you see everything like almost through like a different perspective. And it's like, you reevaluate your life and like time just feels like it goes by so slow. So like, when like I got sick like the last time I've done them tons of times I did uh, shrooms in Thailand once even well actually I did them twice in Thailand um, I've probably done them like 20 times in my life but the last time I did them it was just like I don't know I like, got sick and shit and it's like my stomach just felt like really fucked up so I thought like something was going on like I got like a bad batch or something and it's like because like time feels like it's so slow when you're on mushrooms it was like that much more intense so I was like it felt like fucking like I was suffering for like a day but really it was only like a couple hours right here's a question for you do you have you seen the film um what's it called dread dread like judge dread yeah yeah exactly yeah yeah dread. yeah yeah, yeah. That, that, that's crazy with the slow-mo drug right hey that one that one was it yeah just like, yeah just it like wasn't that? it wasn't just like that it wasn't that slow it just like it feels like Every so, second counts, you know what I mean? But it's like if you're falling, you wouldn't like feel like you're falling in slow motion. That would be sick, though. I, I would do that drug. If it existed in real life, I'd do slow-mo. It sounds nah. crazy. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. It might be fun whilst you're ejaculating. I don't know about anything. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? No. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, do it. Do it and then have sex or something. That'd be so funny. Sorry, bro. I, I had a crazy experience um, a fucking hell, years ago now. Um, I'm so safe to say these days I'm a weed man and that's it. Mm-hmm. I, I have tried lots of other stuff, not the extremely really heavy stuff, but um, my craziest experience, man, um, you know, I say amphetamines, speed. Yeah, yeah. We, we did, uh, me and my brother and um, a couple of friends, fucking hell, man, we sat there. A wide awake for five days, man. Damn, that's never crazy. Tried, I've never tried mushrooms, man, and I've never tried anything like LSD that trips mm-hmm. people out. I've never been anywhere near that stuff. But sleep deprivation was just as, you know, it, it, you, you, you're there. You know what I mean? I'm, I feel like I'm there now. I'm getting chills thinking I'm there because I was seeing other things, man. It was so horrible. Right, yeah, just from staying up for five days. Yeah, that's crazy. You definitely would probably start seeing shit. The, yeah, um, I've never done acid or, like, uh, any, like, harder stuff like that either. I've done coke a couple times. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've enjoyed that a few times, but um, it just gives me a headache, man. You know, like... Yeah, the, same. I get the same thing. It's just like, I just like free shit. So when someone offers me something for free, I'm just like, all right, fine. Yeah. I'll take a line. And then it's like, why did I even do this? I just have a headache. To me, it feels like, uh, you know, on a, um, a workbench, you got a vice. And it closes and you can hold things really still. Yeah, 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 exactly. It just feels like somebody's doing that to your brains. And it feels like... You know, my face filters on my videos. <laughs> yeah, all exactly. My- yeah, yeah. And then it's all like, fuck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my thoughts are the same. It's not just yeah. my head. It's my thoughts. I get fucking suicidal and all fucking mm-hmm. like, I can't be doing with this shit, man. You know, I want to live. I've got reasons to live. I don't For want sure, drugs man. to fucking 
put me on this path where I don't want to be. You know what I mean? It's, it's fucked up. Yeah, you know? unfortunately, I have like a uh, a friend that uh, that killed himself, and he when when he did, he was like really fucked up on drugs. Apparently, so it sucks to know that like if he was sober, he he might not have made that decision, right? Well, that's the thing, mate. Same same boat as you. I've I've got a friend. Mm -hmm. um, Last couple of months, he took a massive overdose. Um, he used to be addicted to like painkillers and stuff, you know, um, oxycotins and stuff like that. You know, the really dangerous stuff. Like, <clears throat> and um, you know, he just thought there was no way out, so he decided to take his entire fucking arsenal. Boof, you know, and because oh, he's fuck. a big guy, because he's a big guy, he, he should have been dead, man. But because he's a big guy. The doctors are astonished. How the fuck are you still alive, man? You should be dead. So, you know, he got checked in. He's had some help. Now he's he's completely sober, man. He doesn't even smoke weed anymore. You know what I mean? And he's just like, mm -hmm. it's making me shake here now, man, talking about it because he sends me text messages and it's so fucking surreal, some of the stuff he's coming out with, man. The, the level of paranoia. Okay, I've been paranoid at times, okay, when I've been through some bad shit. But mm -hmm. <laughs> when I've read my friend's text messages, it's like, you know, with an earthquake, for example, what's the term for when it goes bigger and bigger? The rector scale or something, what's the word? Yeah, I think so. It's something like that, yeah. Uh, it's like that, man. But like, yeah. you know, instead of going up one by one, it's like two and then four and then boom. It's just intense, you know? Fucking hell, it's just surreal, man. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, drugs are crazy, man. Drugs are really fucking crazy. You know, in moderation... You know the right ones they're okay man i'm not telling people to go out there and do it i'm not mm -hmm. fucking advocating that man but you know you have to be careful but you can enjoy yourself it's just don't the, the, the problem is when people get caught into drugs during bad times they fall into it whilst they're already fucked up man you know if you're in a good place and you're at a party and someone goes hey man do you want to try some of that hey fucking hell. and you're, you're much better prepared for it you're in a bad place you then rely on that then to comfort you. It becomes your blanket, you know what I mean? And, mm -hmm. you know, you wake up every day and it's one of the first things you'll think of and it's like, nah, I can't be living like this anymore, you know? Yeah. So I've had a clean break. I've had a clean break, man. And I'm here now. I've been here a year and a half. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. Um, not a lot's changed, you know, at home and stuff. Uh, like I say, quarantine and stuff. It's just... I've done the best I can with the one couple of rooms here I have uh, to do filming and stuff. But um, once we can get out there, back into the world, whether it'll be normal feeling or not, man, I don't know. But I look forward to put travel montages together with my videos, you know, going from here to Wales. And mm -hmm. it's going to be cool, man, because I'm hoping. It's like if, if you and me are in the same same town now, man, I can guarantee you would be like, Seb, so I'm fucking coming over now. Hey, put the kettle on. Put the, the yeah, kettle yeah. On. And we'll, we'll fucking start making videos. We'll plan things. You know what I mean? And I've got so many friends that I would love to do that with here, but they're just not game. Mm hmm Yeah, you like... Know, for sure, man. Like, fucking... I wish, like, more of my friends were down to, like, make crazy videos and stuff. But a lot of them are. Like, I got, I got a lucky group because, uh, like, I know a lot of comedians, right? So you just... Like, there probably are people that, like, you just got to find them, the people that are around you that would be down to make videos and stuff, right? That's the, that's the thing, man. And, you know, there's nothing stopping us. Um, you know, you're all the way over there, okay, and I'm all the way over here. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing stopping us. It's the power of video, mate. Yeah, exactly. We can, like, somehow collab, do some crazy video or something. Like, I saw this crazy, uh, I forget who made it, but it was, like, all these, like, uh, women uh, celebrities, and they would, like, punch the camera or whatever hit it and then the next one gets hit by it right? and they're like ah oh! and then they would do like something else and then right and it was actually like a sick video i was like damn this is pretty cool if it's cut and edited well mm -hmm. it can just look fluid it, it just looks natural you know yeah exactly it was it was like done really well because they're all like professionals right like margot robbie was in it um i don't know a bunch of a bunch of them <laughs> i forget who else <laughs> So, um, during quarantine, uh, you just mentioned uh, an actress there. Um, mm. 
what movies have you been watching if you have been watching any or do you spend all your time on youtube watching other people's content well i like at first i was like super grinding with the youtube but like lately like, i've just been trying to like take a uh, little break every once in a while so i'll watch some netflix i watched deadpool 2 that was pretty good um i, I like shows more than movies though first because like i don't know i like binging like a tv show so i watch like ozark especially because like my butt buddy buddy uh devin karen is like he's oh no not ozark outer banks i watch ozark but i also watch outer banks and my buddy devin karen's been like interviewing all the, like the celebrities from outer banks so it's pretty sick yeah that sounds awesome man mm-hmm. right um shows wise um I, I like shows i'm very I don't follow trends like, you know, everybody's been talking about the Tiger King. Yeah. Like, I've not seen a second of it. I've not watched anything, okay? You should watch it, man. <laughs> you got to watch it. Seriously, it's crazy. You what won't regret it. What I tend to do, man, uh, it was the same with Breaking Bad. Um, mm. When that came out, I wasn't following it as it was coming out bit by bit. Okay? Mm. Um, it came out and it was done. It was finished, the DVDs available, everything, like in a box set and everything, okay? Mm-hmm. I get the box set, I binge the whole thing, I love it. And I'm obsessed with it when everybody else has sort of calmed down about it. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. I love Breaking Bad, man. Breaking Bad was crazy. Yeah. What did you reckon of the movie, man? It was pretty good. It, it wasn't bad. Like, it wasn't over the top crazy good, but it was, it was, it was all right. It was okay. It was like, it was a nice little bit of closure for Jesse, really, wasn't it? Yeah, for sure. Do you watch uh, Better Call Saul too? Um, I've watched up to season two, um, halfway through somewhere. Nice. I um, like that show too. Saul Goodman, he's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it's sick they did a uh, spin-off. It, it is a good spin-off, man. And he does, you know, pull off the, the, the right to have his own show. Mm-hmm. You know, he, he really does deserve it. It's not like, you know... With some shows, they get spin-offs and then they just sort of uh, they die off after one season or whatever because they realise it's not so great. But Better Call Saul, because they're bringing in, you know, Mike and Gus Spring and, and all these other cool people that we, we all know and love, regardless of them being villains or whatever, you bring them in and people are going to be interested, aren't they? Do you know what I mean? As yeah, well, for as, sure, yeah. And it's weird because, like, really all those characters are older now, but it's a prequel, right? So it's like they're all supposed to be younger. That's the thing, man. That's that's the one thing I had to sort of trick myself. I was watching it, and um, don't know the actor's name, uh, but Todd, the red-headed guy. Yeah. You know, he, you know, no disrespect, but in the footage, he does look older, like, much older. Todd's in, in uh, Better Call Saul. I I've fucking must have missed that part. I don't remember seeing Todd. I, don't, I, I haven't got that far if, if he is in okay. there somewhere, man. But he looked, he, to me, watching Better Call Saul, oh, not Better Call Saul, sorry, bro, El Camino. Watching oh, right, that, right. Watching and that and seeing Todd as, like, much older looking than he was in Breaking Bad and, like you say, it being a prequel or whatever, or... Right, well, that happens, like, right after the events of uh, Breaking Bad. So that one is not, like, a prequel. But, yeah, I get what you're saying. He looked way older than he should have. Yeah. Because it was really, literally right after. Yeah, yeah. Done looking in, you know, in Breaking Bad itself. But, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, man. So um, did, did I ask you what your plans were next? What's your next plans of YouTube and stuff? Because you have been putting small videos up, which mm-hmm. are all great, you know, because... Oh, what's that cover? You know, inside your butthole. Is that Blink One Eight Two? No, it's like some girl just like did it on like Twitter, some little kid, and it just oh. like blew up. And someone put it on my Facebook wall, and they're like, "So then I just covered it, and now it's like my most viewed video on YouTube. It has like almost two thousand views." And yeah, it's that's sick. yeah, it's crazy. But I mean, I just like hopped on a trend, right? So I might try to do that, like hop on more trends if something like just pops off. Like, and I, I really like Rick and Morty and like that just came back. So like maybe after the next Rick and Morty episode, I'll try to do like a review or something. Um, I've never watched it. It's good. It's a good show. I fucking, you definitely got to check it out. But uh, it's not on Netflix or anything. You got to have like Adult Swim or they put the, the videos on YouTube like pirated, but you shouldn't support when people uh, pirate shit. <laughs> yeah. I was glad to see uh, South, Park, uh, South Park is on Netflix now. Oh, really? That's fucking awesome, man. I love South yeah. Park. South Park yeah, is shit. Like, 
seasons upon seasons, you know? Mm -hmm. Man, I've, I've always loved that show. South Park will always be my favorite. Like, it's like the OG, just crazy cartoon show, you know what I mean? That they always yeah. have, like, such, like, good, like, uh, lessons in every show, but it's still hilarious and stupid at the same time. It's just crazy. <laughs> Out of all the episodes you've seen, um, Shock Factor, because some of the episodes I've seen, I've just been like, I can't believe this has been allowed to be on television you know what i mean some of the yeah stuff, like the blood orgy with the christmas characters on that that's so crazy <laughs> or like the scott uh scott peterman or something i forget what his name is but <laughs> that one where carmen like grinds up his parents into a chili that one's fucked up too <laughs> i'll tell you what man when we were kids um me and my brother um like i said my dad lives in birmingham he's been here 20 odd years mm -hmm. so we used to come and visit and when we were kids, uh, I must have been about eight, nine, maybe ten years old. And he's like, oh, rent a movie from Blockbusters. I don't know if you had a Blockbusters over there. Yeah, we did. Remember. We had Blockbuster. When I was a kid, we used to bike to the Blockbuster and rent a couple movies and shit. It was fucking... Don't ask me how, bro, okay? Seriously, man. Don't ask me how. But at ten years old, me and my brother managed to rent South Park the movie... Right, mm -hmm. we took it back to my dad's house, and we put it on in the VHS. You know, back in the day before. DVD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We bang on this, you know, this supposed cartoon. He doesn't know any better. You know, he doesn't have a clue about fucking South Park. I know what yeah. South Park's all about. He just thinks, oh, we're just watching some fucking kids' channel. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then asses of fire comes on and then all the swearing and fucking hell, they just take it up a level and all the killing and then you've got, you know, the devil in bed with Saddam and everything. It's like, oh my Yeah, God. yeah, I remember that movie. I've seen it a couple of times. It's great, actually. It's so fucked yeah. up. Yeah, and he's whipping his cock out and everything, you know? My dad's <laughs> like, fuck is this? You know what I mean? How can my kids be watching this stuff, man? Mm -hmm. But it's, you know, 2020, it's you're going to see that shit more commonly. But back then, man, you know, South Park, when it first came out and it did its thing, you know, Family Guy the same. I fucking love Family Guy, man. Family um, Guy's great, but it's like, it's not as good as South Park, in my opinion. It's just nothing will ever reach that point for me. It's like South Park will always be number I, one for sure. It's, it's just like one step ahead, isn't it? You know, yeah. In terms of shock factor, you know, like you said, the lessons it puts in there as well, you know. You know, you could have, like, at the end of every episode, you know, Kenny's lying there dead on the floor. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but they're all holding hands in unity, you know, singing a song. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See you guys later, you know, you know, take care of each other, you know, whilst you got a corpse on the floor, man. It's just, it's a different level, man. What's your favourite episode, did I ask you? Um, I don't know if I have, like, it might be the Scott Peterman one or whatever. That one is crazy, but it's so hard to pick, right? It's like, I'd have to, like, go back and watch them all again. There's so many episodes, too, you know? And, like, I yeah. kind of miss, like, the last couple seasons, unfortunately, which sucks. Like, they were, like, um on much music.com, and so I was, like, watching them there, but I don't know if I can still get them on there. I lost them. I lost them a long time ago, man. Um, with, you know, with me being in the UK... You know, it's different with TV stations and, you know, availability and stuff. For a while, everything's available now because of the internet. So we were quite lucky to get what we could get. So when South Park was starting off, I seen, you know, the one where the lava's coming down the mountain and they do that duck and cover shit. They're saying that the lava's meant to go over them and they're safe if they just duck and cover under a blanket. I don't know if you've seen that episode. I don't remember, thing. maybe. I have a really bad memory, so I've probably seen it, but... I don't know. Ever since, man, they've just took it up a whole different level. I tell you one. I tell you one episode that really stood out for me in a really horrific way. Um, the Michael Jackson one was quite scary. Um, I won't lie. I was mm -hmm. really, really stunned watching that. And um, the one where in, have you seen the one with Indiana Jones? I think so, and I do remember that at least one of the Michael Jackson ones with blanket. Yeah, and he's yeah. him out the window and all that stuff, and it's like, oh my god, like this is just fucking mad. Yeah. But there's an episode on there. Uh, I don't know if you've seen it. It is quite like 
fucking hell, this is something, you know. Uh, it's basically Indiana Jones. Um, they made the Crystal Skull, I think, you know, I might be wrong. Um, they made the Crystal Skull movie. And basically, because Indiana Jones was like a beloved thing for a lot of people, it was like, you know, everybody's hero growing up. Oh, Indiana Jones, Harrison Ford, you know what I mean? The guy's a fucking legend, you know? Mm. So they make this movie, and then people were going around then saying, well, basically, they fucking raped Indiana Jones by doing this movie because... Yeah, yeah. Okay, now I remember the South Park episode where it's like they're how they actually rape indiana jones yeah it's fucked up that one's crazy (laughs) i think it's uh two or three movie scenes uh there's one the accused you know the one on the pinball table that was messed up me and it really freaked me out you know (laughs) and uh the deliverance you know the dueling banjo movie I don't know, man. My memory's so bad, bro. There's a scene. There's a scene from there that they reenact, and it's fucking mm-hmm. horrific, man. It really sent chills down my spine, bro. Honestly, especially because mm-hmm. I'd had a smoke as well. It was just like I'm not comfortable with this, man. And I've got quite a tough skin for a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, word, bro. For sure. Yeah, it was horrible, man. It was horrible. Man, so, this has uh, been great. I feel like we should. Uh, we've been talking for a while. It's probably been like an hour or more, right? I don't know, man. I've, I've just been going with the flow, man. I've just been getting into the zone and I'm just going with it, you know? It's been really, really cool. I really yeah, really man, it. it's been awesome. I'd definitely love to have you back on again. Or you could hop on uh, my other podcast I got going on is uh, Checkmates with David Green. Yeah. It'd be sick to have you on there. We usually have two guests on at a time. So, yeah, I don't know if you'd be into that. Yeah, that sounds good, man. This is the first time I've done anything like this. So, hopefully the next time I'll feel a little bit more at ease. Um because it's been a long time. It's been a long yeah, time, you're, man. Yeah, you were great, dude. It was good talking to you. Like, uh, I had fun. It was interesting, and we we went for a long time. I'm happy. I'll tell you one thing, man. You know, if we ever do this face-to-face one day, man, it's going to be a, a long... There's going to be a lot of stories, bro. Trust me, there's going to be a lot of stories. Bro. Yeah, for sure. We'll smoke some joints <laughs> one day. That'd be <laughs> awesome, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good stuff. Um, bro.